Letters, brought to you by E3 Spark Plugs, born to burn. Well, it's time to get to your guys' letters. Thanks for sending so many of these in. Now, before we get started on these, I want to remind you to go to facebook.com slash motors TV or twitter.com slash motors. Now, our first one's from Jacob Hill, who's on YouTube, and he asks, why isn't motors on TV? It should be. But Jacob, man, it is. It's been on TV for uh, like a year and a half now. Um, the best thing to do is to go to our website at www.motors.tv slash TV to find out where we currently are, which uh, is satellite TV, broadcast cable, and a lot of other places throughout the country. So head on over to our website and click up on that first menu. You'll find a link to see where we're currently airing the show. Now Calhoun writes, hey Chris, can Motors TV do a show on transmission work? I know it's a broad topic, but my four speed and my 95 Ford F-150 5.0 isn't shifting right. I'd love to see a show on this. P.S. I'm loving the Ford symbol on the fridge. Well, Calhoun, check it out, man. It's no longer a Ford fridge. That was actually a 24 cubic foot Kenmore fridge that we've had for years, and it didn't really fit into all the new Gladiator stuff. But thanks to Gladiator Garage Works, those guys are great. They hooked us up with this new Chillerator. It's a 19 cubic foot fridge that's more energy efficient. It's a little bit smaller, which is fine, but it's more fuel efficient. Now, as far as transmission work, well, this next season, we are gonna be building up a Chevy 350 engine. So the logical step after that is the transmission and then putting it into a vehicle. So just keep on watching, we'll get to it. Jeremy Case asks, can you use the eraser wheel to remove factory vinyl stripes from a Mustang GT? Well, Jeremy, you sure can. You probably already saw our quick tip video at our website called How to Remove Emblems from Your Vehicle that showed how to use that eraser wheel. We also used it in episode six of season three, which was our Mustang body kit episode. Now, what I recommend you do is just start with your fingers and a little bit of elbow grease. Start picking those things off of there. If the adhesive is on there too good, grab a hair dryer or a heat gun. That'll soften the adhesive a little bit. And once you get them all the way off, take a clay bar and clay your paint and then put a fresh coat of wax on top. Now John had a question about brakes. He asked, I watched your video on replacing brake pads and rotors for the Mustang. Like most cars, it's the same procedure. I need to know if I do it the same way you did it in the video, will I have to bleed the brakes? Well John, we actually have two episodes where we worked on brakes on a Mustang. Season two, episode nine, and season four, episode nine. In the first one, we just did pads and rotors, and the second one, we did a whole big brake kit upgrade with uh, new stainless steel brake lines as well as new calipers. Now, if you do any of that stuff, you're definitely gonna need to bleed your brakes, but if you're just replacing your pads and rotors, there's no need to do that. Now, Nate Guerra had a really good question. He asked, hey Chris, one of my favorite aspects of the show is that it's filmed in a home garage. Please keep it that way. I saw the garage makeover episode. Is there anything else you can add to show what's possible in a garage that size? Well, Nate, pretty much everything is possible. As you can see, after 60 plus episodes and four seasons of Motors TV, we've done pretty much everything in here. Now, there is one limitation that I can think of, which is lifting a vehicle. Our F-150 is lifted six inches and has 35 inch tires. When we roll it in here, it's got about an inch to spare above the roof. You can't really go any higher than that. Other than that, I can't really think of anything. Maybe paint? But I did talk with a guy at the, the SEMA show last year who did his 69 Camaro paint job in his two-car garage with a buddy. They just got some materials at their local hardware store and they took care of it. It looked great, I saw it in person, so it only proves that there really isn't anything you can't do in a two-car garage. And finally, James Castellanos wrote in, and he's got a really good question. Here's what he said. Hey Chris, I love watching the show. My question is how can I make my 2005 F-150 more economical while adding performance? Well James, like we mentioned earlier in the letter segment, you can put on an E-Fan. When we did that on our F-150, we noticed a huge improvement in performance as well as fuel economy. Now another thing that you can do is upgrade your spark plugs to E3 spark plugs. And you're in luck because I read your letter on the show and everybody else that wrote in and I answered their letter, they get free spark plugs as well. And whether you have your 5.4, 4.6 or 4.2, I already checked it out for you, they do make these for your engine, which is really cool because you'll be able to experience it firsthand. Now to find out more information about E3's technology or to find out if they're available for your ride, just head on over to e3sparkplugs.com. Check out the Motors TV website to watch all of your favorite episodes and more and talk with other viewers online in our popular forums area. 
Catch the latest news and information surrounding the show, as well as the entire automotive industry. Take motors with you on the road with our free app available for the iPhone and iPod Touch. And win free parts by entering in our monthly giveaway. It's all right here at www.motors.tv.